Hi, my name is Truffle the Whiskey and welcome to my channel. Yeah, I'm actually kind of nervous because I normally only make speed painting videos and now I'm talking into a microphone. So I hope everything is okay and my Dutch accent isn't too bad. But Truffle, why are you making a different video? Um, yeah, good question, thank you. It's because I've got something really exciting going on. It actually already happened, but a few months, no, weeks ago, at the end of February, um, I finally got my first suit. Yes, Truffle is, is now fully uh, wearable, <laughs> so to say. Yeah, and I've got a lot of funny ideas for this channel because yeah, I've got a fursuit so now I can make uh, fursuiting videos. So expect more videos than only speed painting. Um, I'd like to make really nice content and let's start with a, a sort, of, sort of a story time video. It's gonna be a pretty long video. I thought about splitting it into parts, but I think one part is the best for the complete experience. So this video is, is about the story of how I got my uh, fursuit and I'll explain a bit more about my ideas for this channel later on in this video. But first, I hope you enjoy this one. So uh, let's start the story. So about three years ago, I fully joined the community. They convert me um, because I knew about the fandom for, I think, 10 years already. But around that time, I started to question my sexuality as well. Uh, so the question, am I gay and am I a furry, is, uh, was just too much for me to handle. So I just stuck with the question, am I gay, yes or no. Um, and that already took me like 10 years to figure out. During that time, of course, I came across some furry things on, on the internet and I was always really quite intrigued by it. I love the design and the, the just being, yeah, being a different character just was a really big thing for me. Um, and then I saw some things on YouTube and then after about 10 years, uh, I finally gave in. I finally was comfortable enough with myself to say, okay, I'm a furry, I like this shit. Probably Disney cast it as well because when I, when I think back, I always was so obsessed by Disney anthropomorphic characters. I, w I always wanted to be them and was ob obsessed by them for like weeks after seeing a movie. So yeah, uh, one plus one is two, I guess. So about uh, two and a half, three years ago, I, uh, I joined the fandom and I already was dating my boyfriend for almost two years and <laughs> he doesn't really like it. Um, you think it's really cringe and he and it doesn't want anything to do with it so i can annoy him uh, quite a bit with doing uh, ooh, ooh stuff to him just to annoy him i think it's funny i think deep inside he think it's funny too um and he always tells me in a sarcastic way that i tricked him into this relationship and this isn't what he signed up for oh you tricked me um but yeah i didn't think about when we started our relationship this wasn't a question for me i just came out of the closet and then i met my boyfriend so I just had to, I had to learn a lot about myself and he helped me with that. And one of the things that he helped me explore is that I am a furry. So yeah, happy me, happy him, <laughs> I think, I hope so. So when I joined the fandom, it took me one month to make my first fursona. Um, I didn't have a name for it, but I knew the colors, uh, orange and uh, blue. I really like those color combination and I didn't have a name for it. So out of nowhere, my uh, boyfriend knows I really like truffle on anything like pasta with truffle or mayonnaise with truffle or egg with truffle. Or, and if there is a restaurant and they've got a menu item with truffle inside, I will probably order it. So he told me, probably really sarcastic, ah, you, need, you are like a truffle dog. You know, those dogs that they used to find the truffles in the dirt. So I was like, yes, thanks. I really liked the name and I knew my boyfriend was like thinking, oh my God, what did I just do? I just gave my boyfriend, who is a furry, I really don't like him being a furry, but I just gave him his name. So a few months later during summertime, I was chilling in the park with a, with a few friends of mine and I told my best friend I was a furry and he was like, what the fuck? And I knew he knew about the fandom. Um, because he is some, yeah, he is a guy who sits on Reddit like 24 seven. So he, he had to know about it. So he was like, no, no, are you kidding? What the fuck? Yeah, I just started explaining and showing my uh, Instagram account and stuff. And he, 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 he thought it was really interesting. So he was the first friend that, that knew about it. So after a few years, I finally had the money to um, get a suit. 
and then you have to make a duct tape dummy. Um, and they say you have to do it at least with one person to help you, but I think it's way better to do it with two persons. And if you ever think about making a duct tape dummy by yourself, I think it's impossible. Uh, unless you have like three extra arms sticking out of your body, maybe then you can then you can manage. But but yeah, I asked my uh, my friend if he want to come and join me and my boyfriend uh, by duct taping me up. And he said, yes, I want to be part of this process. So invite me. So then he came over for dinner and started taping me in. <laughs> it took a long time, like one and a half hours, I think. Um, and then at one point, yeah, you're fully duct taped in and then you have to be cut out. That is really scary because the duct tape is quite tight at some places, especially they duct taped, they duct -taped up my uh, left elbow way too tight. So <laughs> during the process of cutting me loose, my friend just stabbed me four times with the scissors in my left elbow. <laughs> it really hurt. And yeah, my boyfriend, who doesn't approve of anything of this, of course, was ah, this is karma for bringing this into my house. Um, but yeah, it bled a bit, not that much. I was okay. And when the duct tape dummy was done, I put it in a box and sent it off. It was a really nice night. We just had a lot of talks, and um, I think they found it really funny of duct taping uh, a friend to the point he cannot walk and do do anything. The day after, my legs were hurting. I didn't bend my legs for like one and a half hours and it started to hurt during the process. But the day after I couldn't walk, it was really strange. I went to the postal office and sent the package away. Um, and then it took a really long time and I was stressing out a bit because normally it's about a week. They said it was going to take about a week, but it took about four weeks. And I was stressing, I had to make a new one. And my boyfriend was, ah, karma, of course. Uh, the universe is against this. <laughs> but then it arrived. Um, I got a message from the maker and they uh, were going to start. And then four weeks, five weeks after that, I got a message, um, truffle is done. And they would send it back. So I asked my friend, of course, do you want to be at the unboxing? And his first response was, ah, yes, I want to be. So the next part of this video, is um, the unboxing part. It's really funny because my friend is really excited and for contrast, my boyfriend next to it is just questioning his life. So the contrast between that is really funny. So I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. Um, this is the footage um, of unboxing Truffle. Have fun. Oh, the new gelijk. Oh, the uitdoen. Welcome by my unboxing. I go here. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my friend took some um, pictures with his phone. They were moving pictures, so I could extract a video from it. So I'm putting them over the unboxing video to get a different perspective. Oh, it's well, super soft. Oh! Right. Ooh! <laughs> cute, cute as fuck. And up. The onderhoud skip. Nice kit. Met a. Een stifte, dat je het zelf kan inkleuren. Ja, ik weet het niet. Yes. Maar dat mag je ja. afdoen. Ja, oh nee, het is eigenlijk echt een borstel. Wat? Het is echt een borstel. Het is echt een borstel. Ja. Maar dan mag jij dat doen. Dan gaat hij in dat pak op de bank zitten en je hebt gevoel. Oké, next. Next. Het ook niet. De teel. Alsjeblieft. Ja. Ziet er een beetje uit als een kipje? Ja, een beetje, ja. Oeh, oeh, oeh. De bodysuit. Oh, oh, dit is zo dope. Ik wil gewoon jouw persoonlijke teddybeer. Je kan wel gewoon knippen. No. Oh. Het is erg. Gaan we dat zo fucking? Nou dan. Onder de euro was hard. Ja, ik zit buiten. Pote. Stel voor dat ik uit naar een conventie ga, dan ga ik niet in deze binnenpoot lopen. Oh nee, ik doe het niet vies. Nee. Dan heb ik gewoon een harde zoon. Ik dacht dat het lekker is. Oké. 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 Are you guys ready for the big deal? Oh no. En die bandana. Ik heb een cute ass dippel bandana. Oh! 
Oh, is het is toch uit. Dat alles voor zo'n seks Het is best grappig. Ik heb dit design twee jaar geleden gemaakt en nu heb je het hier zo liggen. Ja, dat is best leuk, hilarisch. Ja. En heb je op ditzelfde dit patroon gekozen? Helemaal zelf gedaan. Ja, we zijn een pas. Dat is een goede. So this was the moment when my friend realized we didn't unbox any paws. So I was like, uh, okay, this is gonna be a real big problem. Oh no! That's a whole, that's a whole good. Say it well. No. Echt niet. Huh? Ben je nou de ultimate boohoo? Boohoo. I don't know. That is irritant. Shit. Shit, man. The phone is there. The phone is there. Hey! Yeah! So for shipping, they stuffed them inside of the head. That's why we didn't find them. I don't know anything about that. That's the thing I'm missing. Okay. Yeah, so after the unboxing and the brushing, I went to the, to the bedroom to suit up. It's a really weird to do it for the first time. Um, it really sinks in. You've got your own character now. So that's really nice. It was harder than expected because, yeah, I haven't done it before. So. Then I told everybody, I yelled through the hallway, are you guys ready? And I could hear the, the <laughs> disapproval of my boyfriend already in his voice. <laughs> and, and my friend next to it was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, um, here you go. You're the closest <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ik zou zo zeggen dat je bijna 1,80 bent of zo. Ja. Het lijkt echt veel dikker. Ja. Dit, is wel echt die, dit zijn wel echt zo fucking comfortabel. Ja. Dat is toch leuk? Ja. Ah, nu heb je de goede dingen. Backflip. Lekker toch wat een lichaam. Ja. Ze zeggen dat het echt een man van 81 is. Ja, of zo. echt een echt, 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 Nee, dat zou niet veel zijn. Ik ben wel grappig die vreemde. Ik kan er niet meer op rijken. Ja, zoals je kan zien, ik ben echt in de suit zo so ver. Ik heb alle dingen geprobeerd in de eerste 5 minuten. Maar één ding was missing: een fotoshoot. No. 
Yeah, so eventually even my boyfriend was, he still was grossed out, but they were asking a lot of questions uh, about the suit, about the fandom. So it was actually a really wholesome moment. Yeah, um, yeah I really enjoyed that moment. And of course, we had to continue making pictures, because why not? I was fully suited up. <laughs> So after the amazing photo shoot, um, I took off the head and I was like, okay, who wants to wear it now? And then against all of my expectations, my boyfriend was like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my head, but no pictures, please. Um, but yeah, he didn't know the cameras was, were still rolling. So he put truffle, he, he put the head on uh, and I walked towards the camera and turned it around. <laughs> But at the moment he saw the camera, he was like, no, and he dove off. So yeah, I've got like two seconds of my boyfriend wearing a truffle. But now I'm going to transform from this uh, drawing character to the real one. In three, two, one. There I am. It's better than I expected. I didn't expect it to be like... But I was screaming like a little girl inside of my head because it was like amazing. Um, what they say about how hot it is, that's completely true and maybe even hotter than I expected. But it's okay. Um, I really like it. And yeah, I, I really like the suit. It's like, it's like cute with the ears and everything and the patterns. So yeah, this is uh, fully in truffle mode. I really like it. I like the patterns and stuff. And it's really soft. This is the back. Yeah, really nice. Ooh, so yeah, um, I love it. I also got two, two outdoor paws for it, so you can go outdoors if you want to. Uh, probably two conventions and stuff, I don't know which one I will be going to, but I hope in the future. And the removable, removable eyelids, of course, so I can make all kinds of nice expressions with my face. Um, yeah, that could be. I really like it, I hope you guys like it too. I'm planning on to do all kinds of stuff on this channel. I really don't know exactly what, but I've got a lot of ideas in my head. I think the main focus, and that's not really a main focus, I'm just gonna do everything that I like to film or uh, edit. But um, I really like the process of making things, like when you see the video, I really like the behind the scenes stuff of that. So maybe I'm gonna incorporate that inside of the channel. Uh, I keep on drawing, of course. Don't uh, expect regular uploads from me because I'm really busy with my job my boyfriend and my friends, uh, but I will make time. Yeah, don't expect like four videos a week, but um, we're gonna see, just it needs to stay fun. But I'm having a lot of fun right now. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see something, uh, leave a comment down below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. It's, uh, it's, it's quite strange for me talking to the camera, but I hope it's, everything is okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say anymore, but so I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.